Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel, or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything is a total washout. So thank you for everyone who voted in my poll. I threw a poll up because I'm actually going to be off of work this Wednesday for Veterans Day holiday. And I wanted to know if you guys wanted to see a live stream BWOW or a regular BWOW. The vote was for a regular BWOW, so I'm filming this Monday night to get it up in time for the usual time Wednesday morning. Since I'm filming this Monday night and I just had a long day, very productive day, but still a long day. So I took off my makeup, washed my face, and I'm wearing a face mask. And this is from Glam Glow. This is actually a product that I was accidentally sent like in a Sephora order. Um, speaking of, if you were on my Instagram and you saw that whole order of skincare <laughs> that I accidentally got, most of it is up here. I believe I finished um, all those products. This is the last one that I'm still testing out. So I'm going to be doing a, a video, an updated video about accidentally trying super expensive skincare. <laughs> so that'll be coming soon, but that's why I'm wearing this is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. And I actually... I don't like it, but I'm leaning towards kind of liking this mask. <laughs> so I just put a really thick layer on. I'm gonna let it sink into my skin, and then later on in the video, I've got this little roller, just from e.l.f. It's like a face roller that I'm gonna use after the sinks in a little bit, just to like get some of the moisture like really penetrating into my skin. Because I've been having some breakouts, um, a couple over here, and then around my mouth, it's been a little bit bad. So. I wanted to focus a little bit more on skincare. With all that out of the way, we have so much to talk about. Just, I've been tagged in things, things have been happening, a brand new ColourPop collab was announced just today because of course it was, so let's, let's go. So I am so sorry to whoever tagged me in this on Instagram. I was hoping to save the comment for this video and like go back and respond to the comment as I was filming, but I just realized Instagram like only shows me my notifications because my last photo kind of blew up a little bit. It only shows me my notifications for like the past 18 hours. And so I can't find your comment. I'm so sorry, but um, I was tagged in this. So this is, I believe, an entire new collection from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and it's called the Blood Money Collection. Yeah. So there is, of course, uh, some lip glosses. There's a lipstick. There's an entire mini collection of lipsticks, which I have to say, you know, considering his other mini collections, this one's far less green than I would think considering this is like the green collection, right, from Jeffree Star. Um, there were some highlighters, but I've heard shit about that highlighter formula, and I think those are um, eyeliner. Oh, are, there is eyeliner. I've not heard anything about the eyeliner, and, and the lip liner got shit reviews too, so mm. So that, that really only leaves the palette. Now, I have to say, my opinion on this, I have to admit, would have been so much different if I had not just spent a whole year panning blood sugar. So keeping that in mind, this palette is just meh for me. It's literally the exact same packaging as blood sugar, um, but it's green and it's got like different decals on the end. That's about it. This honestly isn't as green as I would have hoped. This is really more brown, grungy, grungy grounds and like there's some teals. Like it's like looking at this, the only like super actual green shades I can pick out there's like five of them. The rest of these are either really brown or really teal slash blue, which when you're looking at blood sugar and blue blood, like those palettes, they go for the colors. They go for red and purple. They go for blue. This one doesn't really go for green, which is kind of surprising. So keeping that in mind, I honestly wouldn't buy this. Like I'm not even tempted. Like there were other palettes that um, came out after I was no longer supporting Jeffree Star Cosmetics that I was kind of tempted by, but this one's surprisingly not one of them. Like, yeah, like, I'm fine. Like, looking at this palette, the fact that it's not really that green, um, the bulky packaging, I have to say, like, having the blood sugar palette all year, I'm kind of sick of that bulky packaging. Just get it the fuck out of here. I'm so tired of it. And, yeah. Yeah, I just feel like he didn't go all out with this collection that the way that he could have. Um, but with all of that out of the way, that's my honest opinion on the products. Would I buy any of this or would I recommend you buy any of this? Of course not, because it's Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, and if you missed my entire 
reasoning video, either check out my Pan That Palette series where I talk in depth about no longer supporting Jeffree Star Cosmetics, or I have, um, I have two separate videos. One's a live stream talking specifically about Jeffree Star Cosmetics and, um, well, Jeffree Star and Shane, and then I have a video from a while ago that was like no longer supporting toxic people. I'll have that, I'll have one of those up in the cards. All right, so... This was literally just announced and revealed today. ColourPop is doing a collab with Raw Beauty Christie, which I have to admit I have not watched her channel in a long time, but I really did used to like her content back in the day. I just haven't been watching her for like the last year and a half-ish. Um, but I have to say, <laughs> this palette, actually really tempting. And I have to say, someone did a comparison of like the last three kind of palettes that ColourPop put out like the Hocus Pocus versus this one versus maybe the Disney Princess one and it's kind of the same palette but with the saturation like turned up slowly with each palette now this is what I was hoping out of like a Hocus Pocus palette or out of any other palette this these shades look deep and pigmented and I like the color story and I like how grungy it looks like I gotta say I want this palette it looks good. I like the color story. I like the shades. I love the actual design of the packaging too. That's adorable. The rest of the collection, um, the lip glosses, I'm not really a huge fan of lip gloss so much recently. I've been going more for just like moisturizing lip balm, so I wouldn't be interested in those. The liners. So there's a brown liner that's just like meh, but then there's a green liner and a yellow liner. Knowing what I know about the ColourPop formula, I wouldn't buy these. Actually, something I've actually been loving. There's a lip, there's a lip liner. There's an eyeliner from NYX and it's a green one and I've been using it whenever I do green looks and it looks fantastic in my waterline and it stays all day. That's probably going to be in my next favorites video, which should be coming up towards the end of November. But seeing these really wanted me, like I, I really wanted another green liner and another yellow liner because I believe I have a yellow liner from ColourPop and it doesn't it barely stays in my waterline and that's been kind of true for every ColourPop liner I've tried so I wouldn't want these specific ones but like in that NYX formula that I like I kind of want more colors in that one so uh, going back to ColourPop wouldn't do those they've got some super shock shadows and I've got only one of those left I don't reach for it often enough to actually want to buy it no matter how affordable it is um, and that's the collection. So I gotta say, I want that palette. Am I gonna get that palette? No. It's gonna sell out immediately, <laughs> which good for uh, Christy. I'm really happy for her, but I, I know I'm not gonna get my hands on this palette. I just know. So, so this is the, I believe the holiday collection or palette for Wayne Goss. And I know it's just a regular smoky palette that I already have, but I really like that pop of like teal shimmer towards the end. That looks really pretty. It actually is inspiring me to pull out like a blue shimmer and a smoky palette. But that being said, I can pull out a smoky palette from my collection and a blue shimmer and get this absolutely no problem. So I don't think it'll be worth however much it's going to be. It's, it's expensive, you know? And I've not heard anything like spectacular enough about Wayne Goss Cosmetics to just justify these prices. Just honestly. So not gonna buy this. But I will take inspiration from the color store. Yo, so dead ass. I, I scrolled by this really quickly and I thought this was a Tarte holiday collection. <laughs> so I think this is the Kylie holiday collection and nothing is tempting me. Like those palettes, they look like Too Faced or Tarte holiday palettes. They do. Uh, yep, not, yep, not even tempted in the slightest by this. Oh boy, so here is something I really wanted. I'm glad I didn't buy it. I mean, of course, I'm on my no buys. So I'm not buying anything not necessary right now. But looking at these colors, I know I did not need all of them. And I probably would have been tempted to buy the full box. This is the new Hollow Taco release. And this is the Frosted Metals collection. Now, looking at all of these, uh, like the orangey kind of shade is pretty close to the Xyler the Cat shade that I already have. And I know I wouldn't really wear that pink or that blue. So realistically, I would only really want the teal, which is gorgeous, and the stark silver. So it looks like only the box is limited edition and the rest of the shades should be permanent. So it should be fine if I wait a few months and then pick up just those two shades because they're so pretty and I love Holo Taco nail polish. If you're not sick of me already talking about it constantly, I'm wearing Holo Taco today. This is the... Um, 
I'll throw the shade names here because I kind of already forgot I put the polish away but it's red and I've got a flaky hollow taco on top and I just I really like I've been wearing hollow taco like non-stop for quite a few months now it's just been really comfortable working well for my nails and I like giving myself a little manicure every week so uh yeah definitely was super tempted by this glad I didn't buy it but I think in the future if I were to buy any shades it would be that teal and that silver oh boy these look so pretty but they also kind of sort of look like the Milani blushes. These are from Winky Lux, and they're kind of expensive. They're like 20 bucks each. These are cream blushes, the Cheeky Rose Blush, and it's available online. They look really pretty, but thinking, like, knowing it's a cream blush, I wonder how pretty, how long it would look that pretty until, like, you rubbed the entire rose out. But, eh. Yeah, I mean, Winky Lux, I've tried a couple of things from their brand, mainly from subscription boxes, so I'm not, like, super gung-ho about $20 for a cream blush, you know? But they do look really pretty. But I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what is this? <laughs> this is the KKW Limited Edition Holiday Collection. I don't even think I have words for this. This is probably the most boring neutral holiday collection I've ever seen, even for KKW. Wow. Like, this is more neutral than, like, a Tarte palette. This is more neutral than, like, higher, like, luxury brands that come out with palettes. This is ridiculous. That looks so bad. And it looks cheap and tacky because of that packaging. Honestly, that packaging makes it look so tacky. <sighs> And that palette, it's $35 for this palette. Who the fuck is buying this? Oh. So Beauty Bakery is coming out with a new palette, and this is called the Sugar Cookies Palette. It's available online, and yeah, like nothing super tempting me about it, but I do like the color story. I like that there are some blue-greens, there's some reds. It's not like a boring run-of-the-mill palette, right? It's got a little bit of spice to it, but I'm pretty sure if I looked through my palette collection, I would find these shades multiple times over. That's just unfortunately like the reality when you have 100 eyeshadow palettes, so <laughs> I'm not super tempted. Um, but I've also never tried Beauty Bakery eyeshadows. I've tried Beauty Bakery um, the loose powder for under your eyes, which was amazing. I love that loose powder. And is that it? I thought I tried a couple other products, but probably not. So I need to try some Beauty Bakery eventually, you know, after my no-buy. But like this palette, it's just like, a, hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw it. I was just like, hmm. Oh, so I didn't even know Dose of Colors was coming out with a skincare line. I'm pretty sure I've made my opinion of like skincare by celebrities or skincare by makeup brands clear. I don't think it's really good. I think they, they really just in it for the money and they like hype up ingredients and they make everything super scented. So I'm not personally someone who would buy skincare from either a makeup brand or a celebrity brand so this i would stay far away from all right so real quick of course james charles is coming out with his own makeup brand i wonder if it's just gonna be like um jaclyn hills where we found out like through shell companies and stuff that apparently jaclyn hill cosmetics is like owned under the morphe umbrella which is why she keeps working with morphe and with her own brand and shit like that so i wonder if the same thing's gonna happen with james charles uh either way i don't give a shit and i'm not gonna buy any of it <laughs> Mm. okay this is kind of interesting so these are from revlon which you know what when i think of revlon i don't really think about their eyeshadows or anything like that these are high voltage color prismatic palettes and i have to say for like little quad things they look kind of cute like i really want to try the green one because of course i want to try the green one there's actually two that have some nice deep green shades that look really cute and then there's one that has like a hot pink and a yellow and an orange. I kind of also want to try that one. Okay, Revlon. I have no idea what the pricing is. It looks like it's only available in stores right now. Not sure exactly what stores, but to be honest, if I wasn't on a no buy, I would probably see if I could find any of these. But because of that and because, of, like I mentioned, I have 100 eyeshadow palettes, I don't need these. <laughs> I shouldn't. I don't know how I feel about these glitters though. So this is a palette from Suva Beauty and this is the Magic and Ecstasy palette. So it looks like there's a row of mattes, very colorful, very pretty looking mattes up top, and then there's a matte black on the bottom row along with a bunch of pressed glitters. 
Now, I personally don't like using pressed glitters on my actual eyelid just because my lip, my eyes are so hooded that the chance that one of them will flake off and get into my eye and like fuck up my cornea is super high so i don't do that whenever i actually use like glitter like that i either use it on the inner corner but i take it further in like closer to the bridge of my nose than the inner corner or i use it all the way up here in like my brow bone um so i don't think i would get a lot of use out of those in this palette depending on how chunky it is but looking at the swatches it looks kind of really chunky um but I actually, I like the idea, like looking at the palette as a whole, it looks intriguing. And I want to see people do looks of this. But personally, like for me and for my makeup use and for my collection, I don't know if it would be worth it. Okay, I guess Morphe and Nikita Dragon came out with a collab and it looks like this. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Oh, gross. So another brand that's coming out with a skincare line, Juvia's Place. Why? Why? <laughs> uh... I literally just said it, but like, I'm not going to be trying any of this. I just, it's a new thing. Why does everyone need to come out with skincare? You can get good, affordable skincare already from the drugstore. Or when Sephora accidentally sends you $200 in skincare by accident for free. <laughs> that was stupid. I'm sorry. But yeah, that being said, you can find good, affordable skincare. I don't understand why every makeup brand and their mother is trying to come out with a skincare line. It's just... Meh. Ooh, what is this? Revlon. Another Revlon. It's coming out with a new foundation, which, okay, looking at the shade range, th that shade range looks like trash. They need to work on that shade range. But this is called the Light Cover Foundation. So it's to have a natural finish. And it looks like it's in a little squeezy tube. Hmm. I'm kind of intrigued, even though I'm looking at the shade range and I'm thinking, what the shit? Like, that's, that's not a shade range. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in this foundation or would you boycott it because of that shit shade range? Because part of me is interested in trying a Revlon foundation because I haven't tried one in a long time. But the other part of me is like, what, what the hell is that shade range? Oh man, this is something where if I wasn't on a no buy, I, I would have bought all of this, all of this. And this is the Melt and Beetlejuice collection. I literally want everything. I want the liners. I want the lipsticks. I want the palette. I want all of it. I want all of it. <laughs> I'm not going to get it though. I'm on a no buy. I'm going to be good and not get this. Oh, and the, the mirror and the brushes too. I want all of it. I literally want this entire collection. <sighs> but I'm going to be good and not get it. I think it's all the new limited edition anyway. So I doubt I'd be able to get it. But yeah, I, I will I will probably have some serious FOMO about this entire collection, but I'm sticking to my guns. I'm not going to buy anything, and I will probably just watch a bunch of videos about people using this. <laughs> okay, so I've heard nothing but like amazing things about these highlighters from Kaleidos Makeup, and they look stunning. I, th I think the packaging is adorable. I think this shade in particular, which is called... The Space Age Prophecy looks stunning. And I think it's because it's got like this orange to green kind of shift to it that I think would look so pretty. But again, sticking to my no buy guns. I'm not buying anything. I'm not getting anything. Hm. All right, so let's talk about this. So I didn't actually know about P. Louise's history. First of all, I gotta do a little bit more research, I guess, but I didn't know this was an influencer brand. So I guess this is an influencer, but I've never heard of the influencer before. My bad. Second of all, there's this entire stupid cancelled collection. And I watched um, Smoky Glow's video on this and I did a little digging myself. It's so ridiculous that A, this is from an event that happened in 2019, and B, she literally said the n-word in public and posted it on her Instagram page, and then people rightfully called her out for it and asked her to apologize and she didn't, and now she's saying that she's cancelled when she wasn't. At this point, this is just pathetic. This is pathetic and it's stupid and you need to stop letting white and white passing influencers get away with this shit, okay? <laughs> stop. So because of that, I'm not gonna buy from Flea Louise anymore. Fuck that. <laughs> I was going to try the um, eyeshadow base because of course everyone's heard of that before, right? And I heard okay things about the palettes but the packaging was just so chunky, like what the heck were you supposed to do with it? But because of this canceled collection and how stupid the person is and how tacky this looks no 
So, e.l.f. is coming out with a new concealer that actually looks kind of promising. Again, what is a shade range? That shade range is trash. You literally have two full arm swatches of light to light medium shades and then three dark shades. And they're not even that dark. What the hell, e.l.f.? But, see, here's the thing. Like, I thought the concealer looked promising, but in my experience, I've never liked any e.l.f. concealers. I've never had a single e.l.f. concealer work for me. So yeah, I think a combination of taking like my past history with e.l.f. concealers and base products into account and the fact that the shade range is absolute garbage. No. Okay, so I'm sorry, but so this is a limited edition product by Patrick Todd. This is a face gloss. What the hell is a face gloss? Like, mm, I mean, yeah, there's a, a style of makeup that, that could be, you know, more attuned to. But A, it just sounds kind of gross to me. I don't know why. And B, I guess it's just me literally not being able to picture myself using a face gloss. So I think that's just it. So for me and my makeup and the way that I do it, I'm nowhere near ever going to be able to use this. If you use face gloss, can you let me know down below how you use it and what you would use it for and where you would wear it and how you would put it on? Like, I'm just so curious. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't even know about this. Starbucks came out with a collab and it's Halloween themed. This is the cutest shit. Oh no. Well, I think it was limited edition and I don't even know if like I'd be able to get it. But holy crap, I this looks cute. It looks like a blush. Uh -huh. Oh, they're just little. Oh my god, I want the that looks cute as hell. Well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't know about it, because I probably would have wanted it. <laughs> this is what happens when, like, I really avoid new makeup releases now that I'm on my no-buy, which um, I'm not saying I don't appreciate you tagging me thing like in things on Instagram, because I actually love it. Keep tagging me in things. But I'm not seeking out, like, trend mood and hot fire makeup as much since I'm on my no-buy. Just that's why some of these are, like, legit news and surprises to me, <laughs> which I think is more fun for the video. What do you think? So Viseart is coming out with, I think, a palette that's almost as equally boring as the, uh, not Kat Von D, as the KKW holiday release. Uh, in my experience, I have, uh, I've had a lot of Viseart shadows. They're not worth the price at all. They're just not. So I wouldn't recommend this, like, at all. Stay away. <laughs> okay, so I know I don't need this because I wouldn't use these shades, but I saw so many people talking about, like, how tacky and how they didn't like this palette. But I actually really like the look of this, <laughs> and I was kind of tempted by it, but I know I'm not going to use it. This is the new um, Sugar Pill. This is the Black Capsule palette. And first of all, I love like the idea and the theme of these capsule palettes. I think they're so creative, and I love the negative space in the palette, just personally. I know a lot of people do not like this palette design at all, but I love it. Second of all, I actually really liked this black one because it's got like these really nice purpley pinks and a blue. It was different than what you were seeing in other palettes. Personally, I this basically looks like my face palette, my Pan That Palette face palette, so I know I don't need these shades, but I like that Sugar Pill is doing something different. Like, this is different, and it's enticing, and it's intriguing, and I like it. <laughs> so, anyway, I just, I want them to keep doing what they're doing, because I like how this looks. Okay, and I think we are caught up. So that is it for this edition of the BWOW. Thank you guys so much for watching. I need to turn these lights off and turn my air conditioning back on because, you know, we got fall in October, but for some reason, like this week here in Jersey, the like temperature shot back up to like the high 70s. Like what the hell? Give me fall and like, like can I actually, you know, a lot of people would hate me for this, but I want it to snow. Like I'm ready for snow. I'm ready for cold. I want to be cold again. Let it be cold. So thank you guys so much for watching. If I missed anything or if you want my specific opinions on any other products, let me know in the comments down below and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.